Hello, BuzzFeed. What's up? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jamie French. I am a beauty blogger, beauty vlogger, comedian. I dabble. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create the best Zoom looks for any situation. We're all Zooming a lot. So whether you're Zooming with your boss, Zooming with your family, Zooming with Bay for a date night, uh, I'm just going to teach you my best tips and tricks on how to be cute and how to trick people into thinking you're wearing pants. Now friends, don't get me wrong. I've been known to show up ugly to a Zoom meeting or two, but this is just, you know, if you wanna feel a little better about yourself when you're on that webcam, I'm here to help you out. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first hypothetical situation we're gonna get ready for today is a Zoom meeting with your boss. Now I'm not suggesting that you need to look good for your boss, that would be weird. <laughs> but you know, looking presentable is professional. You know, when you look good, you feel confident. When you feel confident, you perform better. Studies show, and I've totally read those studies. So personally, uh, what I would do if I had a boss, <laughs> would be kind of a no makeup makeup look, like looking put together, looking decent, um, but not looking over the top dramatic. You know, you don't wanna look immodest, if you will. We're mainly aiming for confidence with this one, so one of the things that makes me feel confident is doing a little skin prep. So I'm gonna use a primer today. I'm not usually a huge primer person, but I kinda like this one. This is the Green Goddess from Milani Cosmetics. It's a primer and it also doubles. Oh. I'm sorry, you can hear my bird. Get it all out. Get it all out, bird. It's a primer, but it also doubles as a sleeping mask, which is fun. The scent of it is like very herbal and it makes me feel kind of awake. It has a bit of a cooling sensation and uh, gives a nice glow. That zoom camera can really make you look dull. You know what I mean? So instead of foundation, I'm gonna go with a tinted moisturizer. I've been into uh, I've been into this one from Winky Lux, which you can get at Target. I love tinted moisturizers. They're easy. I can apply them with my fingers. I'm not as particular about blending it with a brush or a sponge because so much of your skin kind of will still show through. It's just so easy, you know? Okay, so next I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer. Um, I am pretty fortunate in the under eye area. I don't really get dark circles under there and I really don't get bags. My under eye doesn't puff out. I kind of have the opposite problem. It kind of caves in especially if I'm dehydrated so so if you don't want your boss to know that you had two bottles of wine the night before just you know pop a little brightness under there and don't go crazy with it you know like the Instagram girls go cray cray with the under eye concealer look at that I barely put any under there and it is a lot by the way this is the LA girl concealer it's phenomenal it's five bucks five or six bucks I even use I use this stuff on brides because it is that good if you get too much pop a little on your stash area up a little on your chin. Oh, my teeth are, don't forget to brush your teeth, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, next thing to make you kind of look, you know, alive is blush. I can't get this open. <laughs> uh, it's so important with Zoom <laughs> to have color in your face. I have Zoom meetings twice a week and sometimes I'm looking at people and I'm like, chrysanthemum, why is there no color in your face? Why do you look gray? So don't be afraid, give yourself a little flush to your cheeks and maybe even do a little more than you normally would. Uh, I like cream blush. Cream blush is my jam. I have dry skin. I really like cream products, but you know, whatever you have works. I'm going right on the apple of the cheek and then I just keep tapping kind of as the product starts to work off the finger and I will tap it backwards. And if you think it looks cray cray, don't panic because I'm gonna show you a trick. So to me, this cheek's looking cute. This one's a little bit overkill. So, you know, if you accidentally overdid it and you look like Pennywise, just take the tiniest bit of your tinted moisturizer on your hand, rub it into like a thin layer, yes, and just kind of dab over top. It's such a good way to blend blush, get a nice blended, blown out, blush look say that five times fast okay now this is totally personal preference i'm gonna add a tiny minimal amount of translucent powder this is by makeup obsession you can also get this at target i love what this does to my pores right here i like to get powder on my brush and then knock a lot of it off on my hand because i just i don't want a lot and i just go right in my problem area and now i'm poreless all right, after that, for me, it's just basics, you know, mascara. I'm super into this mascara right now from Pure Cosmetics. It's called, what is it called? The Fully Charged Mascara. It makes them so big. Oh, I got an itch. <laughs> Look at the difference. Can you see? Can you see the difference? I never know 
because my camera angle. Big lashes make a big difference. Pop on some eyebrows. I'm not gonna do like crazy big Instagram eyebrows or anything. I basically just comb my eyebrows and then just fill in, you know, like the outer half. Cause my eyebrow I feel like is real short. Probably cause I waxed half of it off the other day. Uh, but also even when I don't do that, <laughs> I feel like my eyebrows are short. So I just, you know, extend them. And then it just still looks like an eyebrow. You know, you don't need like a box right here. Don't, we don't need, we don't need the box. I'm keeping it real simple for lips. I'm gonna take this ColourPop Luxe Gloss. It's just barely tinted, you know, and just so they don't look crestified. <laughs> so now our face looks good and awake. We just gotta make sure the rest of us matches. So, you know, brush your hair. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is a good fluff uh, and dry shampoo. Am I right, ladies? Your boss doesn't need to know that your hair is crazy. And then last but not least, this is the best tip ever. If you really wanna trick people into thinking you're put together, just pop in some earrings. I happen to have hoops sitting here. Oh, ow, owie. See, you just look so much more professional. You can't even tell I'm not wearing pants. All right, so that's how you can look cute on a Zoom meeting with your boss. You're ready to do those TPS reports. What? I don't know what people with normal jobs say. <laughs> okay, so moving on next, we're gonna talk about if you have a Zoom date with your family. So I feel totally confident just like this. If I were to do like a family Zoom date, I just wanna amp it up a little bit just because I feel like people would be taking screenshots and screen recordings and you never know, probably putting them into a family album. And you know, 30, 40 years from now, you're telling your grandchildren how you survived the pandemic that swept across the nation and you're showing them photo albums about how your family had to meet through Zoom. Do you really wanna be ugly? in those photos. Look here, youngsters. Your grandma was too lazy to get ready during quarantine. We were binge watching Ozark the night before. So with that being said, we're gonna be cute, okay? So to amp it up slightly, I'm just gonna add a little touch of eyeshadow. I'm gonna put down a little bit of eyeshadow base first. This one is from Gerard Cosmetics. It's the Clean Canvas eyeshadow primer it's so phenomenal oh my gosh you really don't have to do this sometimes it helps to have something for your eyeshadow to stick to um and i just like how it looks it cancels out any veins or anything in your eyelids you know and i'm gonna keep this so simple kids we're gonna take like a mid-tone i don't even know what you would call this like kind of a taupe color. I'm not even going to take it across my whole eye. I'm just hitting the outer like third of the eye. It's just going to give me a little. <laughs> I'm using a matte shadow for this, by the way. I'm not using a shimmer just because I know shimmer will kind of catch the light weirdly, I think, in this area. And then just on the very tippy tip of the brush with the same color, I'm going under the eye. Same thing, just like on the outer portion. I'm not bringing it all the way in here. Now obviously use, you know, whatever tone works best with your eye color. You know, if you have blue eyes, ooh, I would go with like that real warm terracotta brown. If you have brown eyes, maybe one of these more kind of berry, you know, something contrasting uh, to make your eye color stand out a little bit. Not that it's gonna stand out that much because it's zoom, but still, you know, we're going for confidence. Uh, and then for lippies, I really like to give the lips shape. I prefer a lip liner most of the time. A lot of times I'll just fill my whole lip in with liner because uh, it lasts longer and you can get a lot more precise. I should probably wipe this gloss off a little. <sighs> I'm just so ratchet sometimes. Uh, and then I'm just gonna fill it in, just like you would with a lipstick. And then I'm just gonna take a super nude lipstick and just pop it right in the center. Nothing too cray cray, just to give a little dimension. The last thing I wanna do for my family Zoom party is just put a couple like loose waves in my hair. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna go into that much effort for Uncle Dale. But again, family picks, you know. I really like the type of curl that a wand gives, especially if you leave the last couple inches out, like leave them straight. It's like a cross between a curl and a wave, you know, like a tuxedo t-shirt. It really tells your family, I love you, but not like enough to be formal for you. Just kidding. By the way, this wand is from New Me. I love it. Also, fun fact, uh, you really only have to curl the front because <laughs> they don't have to see the back of your head. And there you have it, girls. Now your grandpa won't ask you if you're on drugs. All right, moving on to my personal favorite portion of this video, which is getting ready for a Zoom date with Bay. Do people still say Bay? 
I do. Of course, my bae decided right now to take a shower. I really hope the mic is not picking that up. Okay, so let me tell you what I love about Zoom. What I love about Zoom is that it really doesn't show detail. So you can get a little, you know, cakier with your face if you want, because your boo will never know. So uh, per I'm gonna go full coverage. That's what I like for a date. It makes me feel soups glam. Uh, so that's what we're going for today. So the fullest coverage foundation that I have in my collection right now is the Pure Foreign one love your selfie foundation this is secondly a foundation and a concealer um, I'm gonna go right over all the work that we did because I can uh, and actually I know I said you could be cakier than usual but this actually really isn't cakey I'm just saying if you wanted to man zoom dates are the best you don't even have to shave your mustache oh I already feel soups cute and nobody gonna break a must try bring it down your neck friends that is one thing that will show up on zoom is a harsh foundation line. We don't want that. This isn't the 90s. So another thing I like to do for date night is to look soups bronzy. Um, and again, I love cream products. So I like cream bronzers, but powder bronzers are great too. I'm gonna go with cream today. And you know, because it's Zoom and you're on camera, I might do a little more than I normally would. Like a little more dramatic, you know, like full Kardashian. I basically go the sides of the forehead, across the top of the forehead, and then the hollows of the cheekbones here. And then I'll just do a little on the sides of my nose, you know, make sure your nose doesn't disappear into your face. Especially like if you use a full coverage foundation. I don't want your nose to go away. You're looking like Voldemort. <laughs> Back in with some cream blush. This time I'm doing a more bubble gummy pink color. I don't know. Seems romantic. Okay, so this is my biggest and bestest Zoom date makeup tip. Instead of stressing yourself out beyond belief trying to get winged eyeliner, you can get eyelashes. These are my current obsessions by Eyelure and they only go kind of on the outer half of your eye. They're magnetic, they're super easy to apply and they give you that cat eye effect, that lift, that sultry, romantic, flirty look that we all love uh, without you having to like sit there and try to do winged eyeliner and like need therapy afterwards. So the, it's the actual liner itself that is magnetic and the lashes just stick to the liner so you don't even need glue. And you don't need these ones. Like you can feel free to use, you know, normal fake eyelashes that have glue. I'm just saying personally, I would skip the liner totally and just pop on some fluttery lashes. I always kind of aim to paint my eyelashes. It just helps me to get the line really close to my lash line. You know, you don't want it super thick. The only thing I think is a bummer is that it takes three coats of this stuff, so you have to like let it dry and do three coats. All right, you guys ready for this magic? I'm gonna get rid of all the time. Just grab the lashes in your tweezers. Yeah, come on. And if you're thinking to yourself, it's not that simple. No, yeah, it really is that simple. It's amazing. You don't have to mess with glue. You know, you don't have to worry about gluing your eyelids shut. <laughs> it's nothing. You're just cute and fluttery. Other favorite part of the face, which is lips. I'm gonna give you the best lip tip ever. Every single time I do this lip trick before a Zoom meeting, a minimum of five people text me and tell me I look super good. I'm dead serious. So something that webcams and sometimes our cell phone cameras can do it too is perspective distortion. It'll kind of bring the center of your face forward and push the rest of you back like, and I, oh, I hate it. I always feel like I have like a big upper lip area. <laughs> so I like to kind of shrink that area by raising, by kind of flipping my lip like that. You know, some people get Botox, give themselves a little lip flip, uh, but you can do it with makeup. Really all you have to do is overdraw your top lip a little bit and oh my gosh, it's the, like the cutest thing ever. So take your fave lip liner. Hold on, I need a different mirror. Um, and then in addition to overdrawing it, I actually kind of like to draw it straight. Instead of like going with the shape of my cupid's bow, I'm just gonna do a straight line. just kind of fill it in. I'm technically like layering this over my previous lip color, which normally I wouldn't be doing. Oh my gosh, I could not love it more. Keep in mind, this camera is super HD uh, on Zoom, it's not. So right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, Jamie, I can totally see that you overdrew your upper lip. But on your Zoom date with Bay, your boo will not know. They'll just think you look extra sultry and pouty and All right, last but not least, I just, 
want to make the hair a little bit bigger. So going back to the perspective distortion thing, I always feel like my hair looks a lot flatter on Zoom than it does in person because it pushes this forward and this back. So for a Zoom date, I would, you know, tease my hair a little bit. And I know teasing is not really in right now. You know, we're all about the very natural, like soft looking hair, but again, this is Zoom, okay? This is not like normal life. <laughs> and uh, your bae will not complain because they won't be able to feel the crustiness. I don't know if, I feel like you're not gonna be able to see. Let me get low here. So I just like lift up sections. By the way, this teasing brush from Spornet is my fave thing ever. Also, side note, there's already dry shampoo in my hair, which is helping it like hold the tease, you know? You can use hairspray if you want. And then I'll just use the brush to smooth out the yuckies. And don't even feel like you have to do this if you already have big hair. I just have a super pointy head. <gasps> oh my gosh, I almost forgot the most important part. Like not the most important part, but a soup's important part. Black eyeliner in the waterline. I don't really like to go below like onto the lash line, I go right in here. Look at the difference. This is like, oh, I'm so cute. Take me on a picnic. And this is like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You don't have to say hello. Okay, get out of my head, Harry Styles. All right, friends, so those are my tips on how I've been making myself cute for Zoom situations. Now I'm just gonna answer a few questions here from BuzzFeed themselves. I have to pull it up though, cause I forgot what they were. <laughs> How has your beauty routine changed throughout quarantine? So my beauty routine throughout quarantine has changed drastically. I've been doing so much less makeup and so much more skincare. Because I have been dialing it back so much with the makeup because I'm not going anywhere or seeing anybody, uh, has really made me notice my skin a lot more. So I've been having a lot of fun like trying out different skincare products, you know, doing face masks, doing what, I feel like normal girls do at night, which is a whole routine of like 87 products. That has been super fun for me and I've noticed a huge improvement, you know, just cutting back on the makeup and getting better about the actual skincare. What is the craziest look you've created during this time? Uh, the craziest look I've created during this time would definitely be the tiny face makeup challenge. I truly thought I was going to sit down and attempt that and give up. I'm normally not that great at special effects makeup. My career as a makeup artist has been mostly bridal. I've seen that illusion over the years and I was like, oh, I could never do that, I could never do that. I saw a girl on TikTok do it and I was like, you know what? I just gotta go try it. So I went in there, tried it. Oh my gosh, it was the weirdest thing ever. Looking at myself, I was like, <laughs> That is not me. It was hilarious. It was so fun. I really just want to do that every day and mess with people and go to the store. Problem is right now when I go out, I have to actually cover my nose so I can't really mess with people right now, but best believe when Corona has passed and when the quarantine's over, Tiny Tabitha's gonna be all over town. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you picked up some tips. Thank you so much Buzzfeed for having me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh, honorable mentions when zooming with your boss would be to smile, act like you want to be there, <laughs> face a window, face a light, for the love of God.